on this uh, World Quality Congress Award, uh, uh, Tashland, Mumbai. Mumbai is quite a wonderful and a beautiful place. I have been uh, just a few days back, three days back, I was here traveling in and around. My best place was Hill Road. Uh, I think you all know Hill Road. Best place to shopping, I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, before I really start my presentations, I would like to formally acknowledge, sincerely acknowledge uh, and uh, uh, express my gratitude to the founder, Dr. R.L. Bhatia, and of course to Alok and to the lady who is uh, giving a lot of energy to us. Uh, uh, I bring with me my uh, wishes from my king, my people, and my country to the lovely people here today and to the lovely people of India. Uh, India is a big brother to us, and uh, I'm here with uh, all of the big brothers. And it's a very privilege uh, and honor to be one of the speakers here in the World uh, uh, Quality Congress uh, uh, far away from uh, Bhutan. Uh, uh, with this note, thank you once again. Uh, I don't know if I, give, if I can give justice for being here today as the first speaker. Nevertheless, uh, let me introduce myself and a little bit about who I am, actually. Uh, my name is uh, Karma Chinle. Uh, I have been running this company. It's a cement company with the uh, annual production of, uh, at daily production of 1,650 metric tons per day. Uh, it is around 340 million worth of uh, assets. Uh, I have been in this company for uh, almost nine months now. Uh, prior to this company, uh, as a CEO, I, I was a founder of uh, another company, uh, which is called as Farm Machinery Corporation Limited. It was a government-owned, uh, state-owned enterprise. I was the founder for that uh, company. I ran that company for six years with almost 400 youths working with me. Uh, Sideline to that, I started another joint venture company. We call it a biofertilizer company with a Korean uh, a counterpart. Uh, it is still under activation phase. The construction is completed. However, I had to leave that uh, company and move to this new company. Uh, I am uh, an engineer by profession. Uh, I am also uh, a technical committee member for developing standards for Bhutan, uh, TC8. I'm a mechanical uh, technical committee member for standard development. Uh, so this is who I am. And uh, I don't know if my topic success is very relevant to here or not. And to be very honest, uh, this topic, I, I choose it because uh, no matter what, no matter even if it is quality, no matter even if it is uh, sustainability, the ultimate goal is success. Are you successful? Uh, that, is, that is the point. And I know uh, with a lot of uh, uh, knowledgeable, uh, high-level people here, and uh, you might have read a lot of books about success. And I've been running through internet and seeing what actually is success. And uh, today I wanted to share uh, my version of success and how I coined it. Uh, uh, later on I'll show you. Maybe it is in the internet. Maybe it is not in the internet. If in case, if it is not in the internet, and if you have not heard it, I'm very lucky. Uh, it saves me. But if it is there in the internet, please cross-check it and uh, see whether I'm saying right or wrong. And on top of that, uh, by the end of my presentation, uh, why I am here to present is not be basically because of uh, uh, Quality Congress or the Best Leader Award or something like that. I wanted to share some of the thoughts that I have for success, and I want your feedback. And uh, this was uh, this 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 concept of success was uh, uh, in my head for the past seven years, and still now I have uh, not completed it. I had uh, uh, a challenge with my daughter who is in Australia now. Before she left to Australia, I said that, uh, uh, "See, my daughter, you write a book on this because I I, I can think. I, it's, I have some innovative thinkings, but it's difficult for me to write. I'm not a good in English or not a writer." Uh, she agreed before she graduated, but right after graduation, she left to Australia. And now I'm still in the uh, dilemma and uh, trying to look for people who will help me out uh, with this uh, concept of success. So with this note, uh, uh, 
thank you once again, and uh, let me begin. A uh, little bit uh, about my country, and I think uh, you all know uh, our majesty, fifth uh, king. His father, the fourth king, uh, concept or conceptualized uh, for a country to develop, uh, is it uh, gross domestic product important? Uh, I think partially it's important, but for us and for my country and for our visionary king, uh, what we would like to look into is uh, gross national happiness. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's in totality the growth, it's, it's in totality the happiness, the totality in success that uh, we need to move forward. It's not only the material things that we need to look into, and that is where our country is. And you can, uh, if you have not been to Bhutan, please welcome. And if you have not heard of Bhutan, Bhutan is just in between the two giants, and we always say the two, the two brothers, the China in the north and India in, in the south, and we are very much privileged to have these two giants uh, looking after us, and thank you for that. Uh, the other one is uh, a national flag of Bhutan, and uh, a little bit about gross national happiness, which you all might be interested in. Uh, we have nine domains and four pillars, and one of the pillars, as I wanted to mention here, uh, basically, the sustainable, eco, eco, sustainable and equitable economic development, which I think uh, the embracing quality culture with sustainability uh, comes in line with this, uh, the concept of our gross national happiness. So this is in just about uh, uh, Bhutan. Uh, we are just 500,000 people uh, living in Bhutan, a very small country. Now, uh, what do you think? Uh, is success and then quality. Uh, I was just trying, trying to run down the internet and see uh, presently the AI and see what actually is saying. You know. uh, quality is achieving the desired outcome and goal that leads to growth, profitability, and sustainability of the business. Uh, so the, the, the theme of the, con uh, the, the conference, uh, quality and sustainability, uh, I think it's directly uh, related to success. And then what is about uh, Quality. quality is the value of money, degree of excellence, and fitness to use and impacts overall business success. So that is where I see in uh, the relation between quality and the success. Quality has to be complemented uh, by so many strategies and other factors to achieve business success. So here I am uh, trying to talk to you about success, which of course a bigger share of the success is for the quality aspect. Uh, as I have mentioned earlier, uh, since I am an engineering student, I love playing with numbers. Uh, have you ever seen this uh, formula or derivations in the internet? I know you are all experts, and you might have read thousands and thousands of books, and I'm pretty sure that you have read it. Anyone who has seen this in the internet, Google, or have heard about it, anyone, like she said something, uh, Something like that. Anyone? Can anyone raise a hand if you don't know? If you don't know? Wow, that gives me a very good... Uh, I'm very glad that uh, this concept is... Uh, maybe it's wrong. Maybe it's not correct. But it's something which you have not heard it. And that, that is where I see an opportunity for a leader. You, know? you talk of something which other people have not heard it. Maybe it makes sense. Maybe it might bring wonders. And I'm pretty sure that it will bring wonder to you. And I've been talking about this to many people in Bhutan. And I always have a very cold response. The reason is because you can have a concept, but you need to materialize it. You need to practically apply it. And that is where my weakness is at this point with this formula. Uh, but mathematically, I think you know it's a regression formula. And what this number stands for, actually. So S is for success, and K is for knowledge, R is for resources, T is for time, and C sometimes uh, people believe luck, fate, bhagya, pichle janam ka, something like that talks about these things, and that's why I'm poor, that's why I'm not successful, that's why I'm rich, that's why I'm son of Ambani, because I have done a lot of good things. So those are some of the things. So for me, uh, at, at the conceptual level, success is a summation of knowledge, resources, time, and certain parameters, certain parameters which we at this moment believe on faith. Bhagwan pe bishwas rakho. 
something like that we believe but in this formula that doesn't apply it's not about your belief or it's not about your past life it's about something which i'll talk to you later on so let me fragment it down a little bit down uh, so in just uh, in this mathematical world and in this mathematical formula i look at a square as your life or world and c is one parameter in that world and if you look at it, the three key indicators, basically knowledge, resource, and time, leads up and gear up to the center of the triangle, and that's called success. Am I making sense? Or maybe it's, I, I don't know if it is correct or not. There are a lot of formulas being said about success, success, success. And one thing that I always look at it as success. Who is successful here? Can anyone say who is successful? Who is not successful here in, in, in this floor? It's a, journey. it's a journey. It's so complex that you cannot say, I am successful. Okay, I can say here, today I am successful to come here on this podium at this particular time and deliver a speech on su success. That is one part of success. And success, I look at it as such a complex, and that equals to our quality. What is quality? Quality is so complex. Quality for me, for this equipment, maybe, okay. But for the technicians, this is the best. For the manufacturers, maybe this is number one. So it is so complex and it is so uh, subjective that you really need to understand what, as a consumer, you want. And that is equal to success. For you to be successful, you really need to know what success you want. If you try to total it up, and if you try to make a gross success, then we are going to lose it. And that's where many people lose it, running after success. So for me, I look at it that every single point has to be fragmented or cascaded down and see every point as a success. And then later on, you sum it up. OK, you want to be a successful father. So there are a lot of things to become a successful father. So what do you mean by a successful father? A successful father means sending your kids to UK to study, giving him enough wealth, happiness, everything. Can you do it all in one? I don't think. So that's where we say success is so complex, and it has to be narrowed down, and it has to be fragmented into small beaten pieces, and then sum it up. So that is where I look at it as success. Now, how do I relate this uh, into different part? So mathematically, I, I look at Success is directly proportional, and it's a function of knowledge. Uh, sorry, can I have a water? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, if knowledge is very important for success, and then success is directly proportional, and it's a function of knowledge. So without knowledge, can you be successful for anything? So I look knowledge as one key parameter for success. And I try to equate it as a function of k and look deeper down. What is knowledge? I try to look into the internet. Uh, I may be wrong. Please uh, correct me. Uh, just, it's just my assumptions. It's just my thought about what I perceive about success. So knowledge, there's tactic knowledge or implicit knowledge. And there is explicit knowledge. So whatever knowledge you need, to achieve a particular success. Is it implicit? Is it explicit? Is it technical knowledge that you need? Sometimes you need both. Sometimes you need all of three. Or sometimes you only need a technical knowledge which is experience driven, which, is, which sometimes cannot be explained, which cannot be written down and uh, passed down to your kids. You have to be together to earn this knowledge, and which is very important for the company, especially when Especially at this moment in Bhutan, what's happening is uh, many of the youth, the knowledgeable people are migrating to Australia, uh, US to earn money and make a better future. And a company like us, uh, we're having a very tough time to keep our employees. And that is where the challenge for a company like us, maybe a company like yours, it's easy to get an employee with an explicit knowledge who is trained, who is PhD, who has engineering knowledge to do these basic things. But it's very difficult for a company to have a technical, knowledgeable, skilled people, which is very important for the company. And 
on, and the research says around 80 to 90 percent of the company growth takes into employees tactical knowledge than the explicit knowledge. So that is where I see it. If you wanted to be a successful in a particular field, what type of knowledge you need? Explicit, tactical, implicit knowledge that you need? And very uh, different sectors of uh, knowledge. Know what, why, how, who. Those are something that you need to really look into to fit into this uh, idea or the formula. So this is where I look at it. And many people say that, uh, uh, how about the management and the utilization of the knowledge? So in here, if you convert this uh, as success a proportionately equal to knowledge, then you need to put a, a value. So when I say S is equal to alpha K, then this alpha means how do you manage the knowledge you have? How do you utilize the knowledge you have? Okay, you may have explicit or technical knowledge, but if you don't use it properly to the maximum of one or hundred percent, then do you think you'll be successful? Your success level will vary, which means no matter if you have a knowledge, in this formula, in my concept, I feel that you have to maximize. You have to manage your knowledge properly. You have to utilize it properly. Then only your success can be to the maximum. So this is one part of, uh, of, uh, of, of success. Uh, same goes with the second part of success. Uh, wouldn't I like to delay much. Uh, again, it's a function of resources. Resources, uh, uh, sometimes I, I, I tell uh, that something which is outside of my body, something which is related to me, and something which is outside of your own body. For example, I sometimes tell uh, if my wife allow me to go to Bombay to get this award, and that comes into success. So my wife should allow me, and that is one of the resources. And especially, sorry, but I may be wrong again, I'll tell you. Asians. It's, it's about your family, you see. It's about your house. It's not about your boss. It's not about your company. At the end, it's about your family. Your family should give you a bang. Go. Okay. I'm with you, my dear. Honey, please work hard. I'll bring you a lunch. I'll take care of the kids. I'll cook for you. I'll wash for you. You go to the office. Take care of the office business. And that is one of the key resources, especially for the Asians. And I call it these as a resources. A resources may be so many times, you know, a type of resources, natural renewable, non-renewable, uh, resources of man-made, and of the key is the human resources. And of course, human resources, when you say it, uh, you all know it, you run a company. So that's where I look at it. Again, in here, I'm saying, maximize, but don't misuse resources. The moment you do not maximize it, then your beta, which is management and utilization, the efficiency, will be less than one. It is 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6. So basically, for a person to be successful, one key parameter, you need knowledge, and you need to make sure you utilize it efficiently and effectively and manage properly. Second one, you add it up, and you need resources. You may have a resources of 100 bucks, and uh, you go for a shopping. And if you cannot maximize it, you'll end up paying 99.99 rupees and saving only 0 0.001 paisa. But if you can maximize, if you can tactically handle, and if you can sell yourself, and if you can have a bargaining power, maybe you can buy something else of same worth of 80 bucks and you'll save, spend, uh, you'll save 20 bucks and take some sweets for your kids at home. That's how you maximize it. See, I, I went to Hill Road and uh, there are a lot of people who are selling same things, same things. And I can really, I, I really envy these people, you know. The, 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 the strength, the, the, the skills they have to market their product. Ah, oh, this is good, this is 100% uh, cotton, this is something like that, this is first hand, second hand, third hand. And on the other side, as a customer, I said, no, my resources has to be maximized. I have to maximize it. And I try to bargain and bargain and bargain. Dega, itna me dega. No, last 
I come back home to my hotel and said, yes, I have maximized my resources. And if you do that, that is one part of success. The third part of success which, which I have uh, looked into is time. Here is that it's about uh, su not suitable time. Uh, it's about appropriate time. See, uh, just about when we're about to start, uh, Mr. Parel Bhatia said that uh, we are late and uh, we need to start. Uh, I was worried because I, I stayed in Vikrol, IBS Vikrol. I was here for two nights in Taj Hotel, wonderful, but quite expensive. I cannot afford it. So I had to move to IBS uh, Vikrol. And uh, we started from there at 7.45. Uh, we call it Uber, we started at 7.45. Traffic jam. I was really worried. Which means, if you want to be successful, you need to know the right time, the appropriate time. Aaj, kal ki baat mat karo. It's today or now. It's nothing called tomorrow. Or it's not about yesterday. So that's where the time is, appropriate time. It's not about uh, specific time, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. It's about appropriate time. See, uh, and there too, example, again, I always say dance with the music. Uh, flow with the water current. You know, now it's rainy season, Bombay, and just next to this road there's a river, and the water current is flowing too much. And I'm trying to drive a boat, and which is going against the current. I'll end up nowhere. I'll die. Better go down, downward, or drive it downward, so that uh, I can uh, reach to the destination. So that's where I said success again is equated to gamma t, and your appropriate time has to be. Maximize properly, has to be utilized properly. So in summing up all of this, I tell here, success may go up, may go down. It's just a number. It may be zero. It, may, it is not possible to become minus. It's not possible to become minus, which means a failure is not there. Failure what is cannot be related or correlated to success. Failure is something different. Success is the degree of success only. When you have low success, you are not successful. Unsuccessful, successful. That's it. So in totality, I say success is alpha K plus beta R plus gamma T plus C. Now let's talk, let's talk about C. In, in a mathematical formula, this Constant is very much important, and it's required. It's the baseline where you start your life. It's the baseline where you start your indices. X, Y, Z, you need a constant. Otherwise, it's one is to one, which is not possible. So what is C? Uh, as I said, this constant, sometimes we as a, I as a Buddhist, or maybe as an Asian, we believe pahila zamana ka karz, or maybe something that, we did bad things to somebody in past life, so I'm not successful. I have some weaknesses on this. But here, C is something which is not that, but similar to that, and that is which is beyond your control. Imagine something which is beyond your control. Taxation law of India, is it within your control to do a business? Maybe you can do up and down in the tax documents. But tax you have to pay. Do you have a control on that? Illegal drugs, drugs act, narcotics acts, environmental act. These are something which is not within you. But your business, your work has to align in with this one so that you fit in properly. If in case you miss this constant, you cannot do your business. It's called illegal business. You will be catch up one day. So that's where I call it C, a complex one, a parameter in a success which is beyond your control. You don't have a control on that. It has to be controlled by somebody else, which is influencing to your success. So this is where I have come up uh, seven years back, and I'm still working on this. Uh, I do not know whether this is correct, but for me, I feel uh, there is no other way to look at success than this one for now. And I would like to request uh, you all to give me feedback and support me. I'm a journey to bringing this into a reality.
uh, it may make sense, it may may not make sense. Uh, but I, for I myself, uh, believe that uh, it's you who judge yourself. It's not others who judge you. It's you who take the move. It's not the others who take your move. For a company to go up, it's you who have to give the bank. Be it an employee, be it a finance director, be it a CEO, be it an office secretary. You are the one who gives the bank. There are many people who will say, do this, do that. This is your TOR, this is your SOPs. Yes, but it is you who have to do it. No other will do it. You cannot be replaced. So for me, I feel that I'll go on with this concept. And uh, if you support and uh, help me out, thank you very much. I'm at the last stage, so so the, the, the reason uh, I think we, we, we try to look at it, why you want to be successful? Maybe because uh, we fail. Maybe because we are unsuccessful, so we want to be successful. So why are, you, why are you failing? The question is, why are you failing? Why are you not able to achieve your target? For example, in a company, you are, you are setting a target of uh, 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 producing one million revenue in a month. So for you to produce one million revenue in a month, what are the parameters required? Do you have enough knowledge to generate a revenue? Do you have enough resources, a good marketing people, a good finance people who will take care of? Do you have or do you think to make one million revenue in a month, is this proper time? Is it a right time to sell winter jackets? I think it's the best time to sell raincoats. Is it allowed? So this is where I look at it. So I uh, literally say, achieving your vision with resource mobilization at an appropriate time, and that is success. Uh, with this note, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I know there are a lot of questions. There are a lot of questions. There are a lot of doubts. I think I myself is in doubt. Uh, if I can answer you, I'll answer you. If I cannot, uh, please advise me. Because this is a conceptual theory that I'm trying to work it out. And I know I, it may not be relevant here, but uh, I feel it's very important for me to take this forward. So that's why I'm here. Uh, thank you very much for listening. Bless me, advise me, Ashit Bhat Bije. Kuch karne ke liye hai, kuch karke jayega. Thank you very much and good day to you all. Uh, Mr. Karma, actually my name is Atul Joshi. I am from Patanjali Ayurved. It's an Indian FMCG company. My question, uh, actually initially you have uh, shown one uh, formula where you told that C is a basically bhag, mera karma, mera kismat, something like that you have. That is our belief and in this formula that's not true. So uh, because uh, in Hindu religion basically we always uh, give emphasis on karma, yes. power of karma. Yes. So if you can put that C is a commitment, I think this will be more aligned. It's my suggestion to you. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you because, very much. Uh, Although you are doing a lot of activity, if you are not committed to do that, so definitely that will not give the appropriate results. Yeah. So if people want to become successful, so they, uh, other than other, this time, resources, and uh, knowledge, they have uh, required commitment also. And this will align our this great Hindu religion also. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I, I won't debate. Uh, as I said, it, it's, a, it's a concept. Uh, I pretty strongly believe that commitment is very important. But uh, uh, look at that and uh, again, bless me. Thank you for asking this question. Thank you very much. Thank you once again. Uh,